the very near future is going to be an explosion of innovation. We're talking about improving health. We're talking about improving clean energy. This is a very important milestone for the nation and for the world. This is a culmination of a long-term dream. Together with HPE and AMD, today we are announcing Frontier. It is going to be able to do 2,000 petaflops or two exaflops. This machine is going to change the world from medicine to biology to materials to deep space, to climate change, to energy transitions. Oak Ridge National Laboratory works on the most difficult problems that humanity faces. Let me tell you how Frontier is going to help us all. In a pandemic, Frontier will allow us to take all the information based on data of the virus that we have already seen gathered globally, put it up in the memory of this machine, and look at what are the possible mutations or variants that you can expect, and we will be able to create drugs or create vaccines to combat pandemics in the future. That, to me, is exciting. We would like to be able to predict our health one year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now. The computational models that we can build with this supercomputer will allow us to fill missing pieces in the puzzle of what is life. By understanding and modeling life, we will be able to develop new treatments and think about healthcare in transformative ways. Think about a patient in an ICU who's got septicemia and they got 24 hours to live and they're not responding to any antibiotics. You don't have six weeks. Frontier is not only for speed for speed's sake, but I would say it's speed for human sake because it allows us to create medicines much faster and deliver them in a more equitable manner so we can have massive impact. Frontier will allow us to understand how the world is going to evolve, shape the evolution for the better. The simple way to think about it is that Frontier will give us a boost of acceleration by a factor of eight. Another way to look at, the, at this is that we will be able to tackle problems that are eight times more complex in the same time. Frontier will not be possible without the special partnership between HPE, AMD, and ORNL. But it's really about the people who are truly passionate about deep learning, artificial intelligence, and new science. Today, this machine is going to drive how the entire industry moves forward. I talk to our industrial partners, for example. They tell me that they're really excited because Frontier provides them with that ability to do an engineering design cycle within a finite amount of time. That's when we're doing real science. Frontier is going to allow us to design even more efficient, cost-effective, reliable, and powerful wind turbines, which ultimately helps us be more sustainable in terms of our energy footprint globally. And that's really what this is about. It's like putting a superpower in the hands of your engineers around the world. That is extremely rewarding, knowing that we're preparing the next generation. We give them the tools they need to make the next leap. It moves the future toward us faster. There's just going to be an explosion of not only results, but an explosion of new questions. Ultimately, this achievement challenges each of us across all our industry to ask, what is the next frontier?